factor by grouping. And we have 5rs plus 25r minus 3s minus 15. And the reason why we're going to factor by grouping, we're going to see in a second what that entails, is that there's no common factor to all four of these terms. If you just look at these first two terms, they both are divisible by 5, both by r, only only one of them is divisible by s, but they're both divisible by 5r. So there's a common factor. But then if you go to this third term here, it's neither divisible by r or by 5. And then when you go to this term over here, it's divisible by 5, but not by r. So when we factor by grouping, what we want to do is group these into what we're going to see as two groups of two, so that each group can kind of be factored a little bit, and then see if we can kind of keep undistributing the property to simplify this. So what we can do is we could say, like we just saw, that 5rs and 25r, they're both divisible by 5 and r. So let's kind of group those two together. So let's 5rs plus 25r. We're going to group those guys together. And then we have, and then we have the minus 3s minus 15. And these are good to group together, because at least they're both divisible by 3. They're not both divisible by s or by 5, but they're both divisible by 3. So maybe we can make a little headway over there. So let's. So let's just group. So let's, we could put a plus, and then we can group those two together just like that. When we do that, it becomes easier to factor things out. Both of these terms are divisible by 5. Both of these terms are divisible by r. They're not both divisible by s, so all we can factor out is a 5r. The greatest common factor of 5rs and 25r is just 5r. So it's going to be 5r times, if you factor out 5r from this, if you take out 5r from 5rs, all you're going to have left is the s. Or there's no way to think about it. If you divide this by 5r, all you're going to have left is the s. If you take out a 5r here, or you divide this by 5r, what are you going to have? 25 divided by 5 is 5 r divided by r is 1. So if you take out a 5r out of this term, you're just going to be left with a 5. Now let's do this second term. Now what can we factor out here? Well, both terms are divisible by 3. Or even better, we can say that they're both divisible by negative 3. That way we'll, kind of have, we'll, we'll get rid of these negative signs. And that's about it. Only one is divisible by s, and only the other one is divisible by 5. So let's take a negative 3 out of both of them, negative 3. If you factor out the negative 3 out of this, all you're going to have left is the s. Or if you divide this expression right here by negative 3, you're just going to be left with s. If you take negative 15 and you factor out a negative 3, or if you divide that by negative 3, you're just going to be left with a positive, a positive 5. So now we have something interesting. Now we essentially have, if you look at it at this higher level, we now have two, we can't really, you know, these, these, each of these terms are the product of of, of a monomial and another binomial. But we have these two parts of the expression now. And we'll notice, both of these parts are both divisible by s plus 5. They're both multiples of s plus 5. So now we can factor out an s plus 5. We have a 5r times s plus 5, and we have negative 3 times s plus 5. So let's factor out an s plus 5. So if you factor out an s plus 5, so we're literally just factoring it out. Then this term over here, if you factor out the s plus 5, you're just going to be left with the 5r. And then this term over here, if you factor out the s plus 5, you're just going to be left with the negative 3. So you're going to have a plus negative 3, or you could just write that literally as adding a negative 3 is the same thing as subtracting a 3. And so we've completely factored this. We get it. We get s plus 5 times 5r minus 3. Now what I want to show you is that we could have actually switched these middle terms, because we would still had groups that are factorable. So let's try that out, just to see that we could have done it other ways. So I could have written this as 5rs. Now let's swap these. Minus 3s plus 25r minus 15. And I could have grouped it this way. I could have grouped these guys together. And then I could have grouped these guys together. And this would still work, because these two guys still have some common factors. And these two guys also have a few common factors. Over here, they are both divisible by, well, let's see, only one is divisible by 5. Only one of them is divisible by r. But they're both divisible by s. So we can factor out an s. So this term could be s times 5r minus 3 plus now over here, both of these are divisible by 5, and that's it. So we could factor out a 5. 25r divided by 5 is going to be 5r. Negative 15 divided by 5 is going to be negative 3. Now once again, notice, both of these terms over here are divisible by 5r, 
are divisible by 5r minus 3. So let's factor that out. So we're going to factor out a 5r minus 3. 5r minus 3. So this term over here, if you divide by 5r minus 3, you're just going to be left with an s. And then this term over here, if you factor out a 5r minus 3, you're going to just be left with a 5. So s plus 5. And we got the same exact result when we grouped it in a different way.